Welcome to a special edition of On Point Live. I'm Vince, it's Jackie Slater, and uh, we're here looking ahead to week two in the NFL season. This is our predictions. And we're looking at some pretty good matchups. We got the Vikings at the Eagles. Vince, I don't know about you, but I'm going with the Eagles in that offensive line. Me too. I'm going to go with uh, Jalen Hurts. We got the Ravens. We got the Ravens at the Bengals. I'm going with the Ravens. I'm going to go with the Bengals to bounce back. They were a little shaky today, turned the ball over a little bit, but they still managed to get it done. I like like what they're doing on offense right now. You got the Seahawks at the Lions. I'm going with the Lions. I think I, I think that team is tough as nails. After watching the Seahawks play today, <laughs> you're in 100 percent agreement. I'm going now. with the Lions. Okay, then you have the Colts at the Texans. I'm going to go with the Colts. You're going with the Colts? Yes. I'm taking the Texans at home. Okay, that yeah. that, that, that I like that's, that. that's reasonable. CJ Stroud. Reasonable. You got the Bears at the Buccaneers. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. Oh, you going with the the team that won this past I'm week? I'm going with okay. the Buccaneers. I'm yeah. gonna take the Bears in an upset because I think the Bucks may be favored, but I'm gonna take the Bears. Okay, now this should be a real good game: the Chiefs and the Jaguars. I'm going with Patrick Mahomes. I'm gonna go with the Chiefs to bounce back. They're not gonna lose two in a row. Okay. Yeah. You got Patrick. You got the Packers and the Falcons. I'm gonna go with the Packers. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you don't you don't like that running game the Falcons got? Anyway, I really uh, do. I really do. But problems. that young quarterback that uh, that stepped in there, he, Jordan Love, he, yeah. he was able to make some plays and he was impressive. Yeah, they they look pretty good today. The Packers. Okay, I'm gonna take the Packers too. I'm gonna go with the Packers on the road. And then you got the Raiders and the Bills. How about Jimmy G? I, I think I'm gonna go with Jimmy G. Boy, they they snuck out a close one against the the Broncos in their first game, but the Bills the Bills are gonna lose to the Jets. So, they'll be so I think they're going to be hungry at home. I'll take the Bills. Okay. All right. You got the rest of them there. Okay. How about the Chargers at the Titans? I'm going with the Chargers. I'm, t- I'm taking the Chargers, too. Bounce them back. Okay. We've got the 49ers are traveling to SoFi to match the Rams. The Rams coming off a big win in Seattle. Who do you like, that's Jackie? A, that's a tough game. That, that's going to be a tough game, Vince, because when I looked at the Rams today and I saw the way that team played with all of those young guys, you know what I thought about? What? I thought about the Deion Sanders and the University of Colorado, Colorado. the job that McVay has done. You can you could kind of you know put those on parallel uh, right. thought processes when you really think about it. So I'm not gonna. I'm, I know the San Francisco 49ers has a smothering defensive front. But I thought the Rams' offensive line did a really good job today, and all they have to do is a consistent, really good job, and Matthew Stafford would be the difference. Here's the difference, Jackie. I'm going to have to go with the 49ers. Sorry, Rams fans, because I'm a former Ram. But when I look to match um, cleverness to cleverness, I see there's an equality there between both teams. I Mm -hmm. see Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay. I didn't see that with the Seahawks this past week. So I'm going to have to go with that smothering defense. They played lights out. They beat a really, really good Pittsburgh team. So I'm going to have to stick with the 49ers on that one. All right. All right. How about the Giants have to travel to Arizona to play the Cardinals? I'm going with the Giants. No no doubt about it. I'm going going with Giants and uh, Daniel Jones. I mean, and Saquon Barkley, man. They're going to get it going, Jackie. That's right. I'm, I'm taking the Giants. How about the Jets? We'll travel to Dallas to play the Cowboys. Well, that's going to be a good game. Yes. Because there's going to be plenty of pressure in Aaron, Don- Aaron Rodgers' face. But I'm going with Aaron Rodgers over the pressure. I think he'll make the decisions that will win the game. I'm going with Robert Sala to beat Mike McCarthy. Mm. I'm going to go with the Jets okay. to win that one. Okay. How about the Commanders are going to travel to Denver to play the Broncos? Uh, you know, the, the Commanders got a little bit of little bit of steam. And, uh, you know, yeah. Eric Bainham didn't do a bad job. Did a pretty no. good job with his offense. So I, I, I'm going to go with them. I'm going to take the Broncos because I saw the way they played in preseason. I know that doesn't mean anything, but, you know, I don't think Sean Payton is going to start off with an onside kick this week. <laughs> so I, I'm going to go with the Broncos to beat the Commanders. Okay, how about the Dolphins are traveling to New England to play the Patriots? Uh, that's a tough one, but I'm going to go with the New England Patriots. Dolphins have a big win over the Chargers, and Jackie. Their, and their quarterback threw for almost 500 yards. Yeah, but, I, but I'm going with the Patriots. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Patriots, too. My family's from Boston. Yeah, I'm going with the Patriots. Okay, and they're going to get right. on the winning trip. We both could possibly yeah. be wrong. <laughs> well, we're going with the Patriots. Saints are going to play the Panthers in the NFC South. Who do you like that? I, I'm going to have to go with the Saints. 
Saints had a good game today, Jackie. Uh, I think uh, Derek Carr played well. I, I mean, he's using his receivers. They're, they're opening it That's up. The, he's the reason why I'm going with them. Yeah, I, I think so. I think the Panthers are still trying to figure things out trying to with figure their it out. quarterback. So I'm going to go with the Saints. Mm -hmm. And the last game, we have the Browns are going to travel to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. I know. I Browns know, are good. I know what you're going to say, but I'm going to have to go with the Browns. You are? I'm going to have to go with the Browns. They're playing Even though Pittsburgh. I know, but I'm going with the Browns. Kenny Pickett, Mike Tomlin. Yeah, but Kenny, they, they're not going to lose two in a row, Jackie. Well, I, I, it's it's hard to imagine. But okay, T.J. With Watt. The, with the way the Browns are playing, with the way they're built, the people that they're relying on, yeah. it's just uh, to me the matchup doesn't doesn't favor. Yeah, but I think history will say the Pittsburgh Steelers will beat and win, and you'll see the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. Okay. Well, don't, that forget, does don't it. forget that. that. Yeah, that does it. We'll see. We'll have our uh, analysis next week, and uh, we hope you guys continue to stay tuned. So don't forget to su subscribe to our On Point Live and also be a follower on on.point.live on our Instagram. So until next time, stay, stay on, on point. point.